Mrs. watches this TV show. Um, celebs go dating in a mansion, I think it is. I, that might not be the title, but basically that's the premise. The celebrities, who aren't even celebrities, I don't even know who any of them are, um, they go on dates in a mansion, but also outside of the mansion. I don't think I've quite got the facts right, but the premise is sound. Either way, she watches all of these dating shows and she says to us, you never take us out on a date anymore. And I have two points to say to this. Firstly, we're in a national lockdown. How am I supposed to take you out on a date? It's literally against the law for me to take you out on a date. Government mandated, that's not my fault. That is very much in the box of not my fault. And then the second point I made is we went out on a date like before lockdown started and she complained about it. I took her out for a breakfast date and all she did was complain the entire time. And the thing is, it was dead posh. Um, I mean, it was a proper posh place. Well, it was posh for me. Um, well, it was tea bake services. They do a really good breakfast there. I mean, it is amazing. Uh, and like, just to point out, it's not like, it's not like shop or sausages and stuff. It's proper butchers so like sausages and the bacon and, oh my God, I could eat that right now. It would be amazing. Regardless, it's, it's really well done. And like all of the cafeteria staff are so helpful and just really nice all around. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't get what the problem with it was. Women. I am Big Daddy, this is Except for Access, that is the open road, and let's just get into it. Well, it's Thursday afternoon, and I understand that it's not the most logical place to start my weekly vlog, but start we must on a Thursday afternoon. So yeah, I've just come back from what I will call a surprise holiday. <laughs> my, uh, my truck developed a fault with it, um, something to do with the EBS ABS something to do with them two systems and it had to go back to Scania it was not very well and uh, yeah basically I had a surprise holiday uh, as we're gonna call it <sighs> yeah we'll, we'll just leave it as it's been a bit of a farce not the most enjoyable experience for everyone involved um, but we are back we are trucking again happy times Frustrating as it was though, it is nice back on the road and it's nice to be trucking again. It's, uh, I know it's only been a week and a half, but <laughs> you do start missing it, which is really bad considering it's supposed to be a job. You're not supposed to miss your job. It's supposed to be really, you know. Uh. So let's go over the plan. I'm heading southbound now, just come from Morecambe, uh, where I've just done, just done a quick drop. This trailer, when I picked it up, had a load on it. Uh, we're now heading south towards Stockport and then we're going to go to Burton-on-Trent and then I think going to Woking after that and then it's back home, in theory, yeah in theory. We're all loaded. Superb. That was uh, wasn't too bad actually. Uh, it took about an hour to get that loaded. There was only a few pallets to go on, but we couldn't double stack them because whatever it is is very delicate and it's like a maybe like a trimming for windows. I'm thinking, or maybe some kind of cladding. Uh, either way, it's something fancy inside. <laughs> Regardless, we're off to Woking now. Um, my only issue is. I don't know if if this stuff's nickable or not. I don't know if I need to park in secure parking. I don't know. I don't really even know what it is. Um, but then again, 
if it's not tied down, then they'll bloody have it a lot of the time. So I might just have to go in for some skewer parking, unfortunately. Watch this dog on the other side. We don't really want to miss a dog. I don't be very good with it. And this light wants to keep going off because of course it does. So I pulled in for a Macca's and I'm just trying to work out what what my plan is now. Because I started at 11 this morning and if I was to work 13 hours, that's working time, not driving time. That'll take me up to well, take me up to midnight, which then affects tomorrow because it means the earliest could start at nine o'clock in the morning, and again that then affects my evening because it means I'll be driving back at ten o'clock at night, and my missus has to come and pick me up with the kids. Needless to say, it doesn't work out well. Um, but then again, if I don't push tonight, I might not eat through as many miles and there's a chance that I might not be able to get back tomorrow. So I'm in a, yeah, I'm in one of those situations where I have to kind of balance what I'm doing very carefully and hopefully get it right. Hopefully anyways. The other issue is all of this is building products from what I've gathered which means I'm loading off a building site, or unloading on a building site, I should say. And yeah, they can take some time because they can get rammed. So yeah, uh, it's, I'm only in two days, but I feel like they're gonna be, well, tomorrow's gonna be problematic. It's gonna not be the greatest. See this in a spare second, that's spectacular. Check it out. Don't know if the camera's doing that justice, but that's that's cool as anything. Um yeah, I got to Oxford Services last night. Um, it was about half half nine-ish when I pulled in. So I've got about an hour's journey to this morning. And I think I'm going to a building site. So ETA is around about 8.30, so building site should be open, in theory anyways. And hopefully, because I've arrived nice and early, Satnav, can you please be quiet? I'm, I'm vlogging, we've been over this many times before. Um, yeah, hopefully the building site's opened up and we'll get uh, tips nice and quick and yeah, we'll see though. I might not be that lucky. See you later, mate. You have a good day, yeah? Well, they were absolutely lovely people. Um, <laughs> credit, they, they seem to have a bloody hard job to do. It seems, uh, it seems very stressful. But they seem, <laughs> they're in very high spirits, which is always good. I had a good chat with most of them, actually. Yeah, properly good guys. Uh, next, we have to do a wacky illegal maneuver, which I probably have shown already, but I don't think I, went through what I have to do. Basically, there's a no turn down here, but if I go straight on, I, uh, I convert my trailer into a flatbed, which I feel might make the, uh, the rental people unhappy. Uh, especially considering the fact that it's already broken. There's, there's problems with it. Oh, I mean, not broken per se. There are problems with it. Um, there's a running light um, 
on the offside, just above the cab. That's uh, that's not working. And on the offside, or the the right side of the truck, the centre beam keeps coming out in transit. Um, it doesn't actually lock in place. So I've got them to bash it with a forklift because hitting things always makes things work, as you're probably aware. And I think that might, might actually now be lodged in place. And when I say lodged in place, I mean it's not coming out again. Uh, on the other side, on the near side, um, the centre beam is locked in place and we're having to just work around it best we can do. Put simply, not the best quality trailer. We shouldn't say that. Oh no. Oh my word. Matey, you may have just made things 50 times worse for me here. was not the best place to park. Van drivers, I find, they think about other van drivers when they park in, but they forget that there are other vehicles a little bigger than vans on the road. And uh, I find they just they just park wherever, wherever, wherever suits. Does it seem like it's gonna fit? Yeah, it'll be fine. And then the worst part of that is when they park somewhere silly and <laughs> they'll, they'll watch it as if they're an innocent bystander just watching some unfold. And almost, it's like they've forgotten. That's your van. You need to move that. <laughs> Quite clearly, the Arctic cannot get past it. <laughs> right. Either way, we're off up to Burton in Trent, or Burton on Trent, should I say. And we're going to go and drop off this trailer, pick up a new one, and then we're going somewhere else for Warrington, uh, which is Monday delivery. So I'm guessing I'm going to drop the trailer in Scales Me and run back. It's been a nice little trip out. And at the moment, <laughs> at the moment, nothing's gone wrong yet. Hey mate, do you know the area? Yep. How do I get over there? Over where? Like just over this way, or over this three three ton way bridge. Come out of here. Yeah. Go out one way. Turn right. Go back over the bridge. And then first roundabout, turn right. Second roundabout, turn right, and it brings you the other side. Of You're a superstar, mate. Thank you very much. Oh my word. Oh, freaking hell. So, I'm in Donington, and first thing you're going to say is, I thought you were going to Burton on Trent. Uh, yes, I was. That's changed. Plans have changed since, uh, since we last talked. And I've come to. I've got a spot that I've got to pick up from, pick up some plastics. Oh yeah, just very quick, I'm also not picking up any trailer today. I'm literally just picking up this load out of uh, Donington and I'm heading up towards Liverpool. Uh, that's the plan. Uh, I don't know. Ah, <laughs> uh, good God. You said go over the bridge. Was that the bridge? Is that the... Well, he says, then go right, and then go right again. Is 
I'm going right. And then right again at the roundabout. This is back where I was just before. And this has a five ton weight limit on it as well. Or is it a five ton weight limit past a certain point? See, I've found there's some towns where, I don't know if it's the local councillors or whoever it is, they put down these weight limits to stop trucks coming through. But all they think about is that one tiny little area and they forget that trucks have to go a different route. And if you're going to put like down a diversion like this, because this is the... Can I go straight over? This is the road it wants me to go down. I've got someone trying to cut on the inside of me, you absolute plum. I cannot go down that one. Five ton zone at any time. I'm after gonna have to go and see if I can go straight on. Round and round. Oh my word. I mean, at the very least, if you're gonna put weight limits down, then you should put HGV route and put it like a yellow diversion sign. I think I, <laughs> when, you're, when you're in something this size, it does not want me to go down this route. Can I go right here? I'm gonna to have to go right here because there's no other place for me to go. This is a residential place. It doesn't have a weight limit on it, so. Oh my god, is this really the direction that they're expecting me to go? Absolutely baffling. Absolutely and completely baffling. Thank you very much, mate. The thing is, with trucks, it's like they're like water in a sense and you can say oh right we're going to put a dam here to stop all of the water but then if you don't think about that is another weight limit what on earth oh half mile ahead right okay that's fine yeah trucks are like water <laughs> you can't just put a dam in one place and expect it to just not go anywhere Thank you very much. It, there has to be another route for it to go. It, and unfortunately, I guess like electricity, like water, it will find the route, or we will find the route with the least resistance. And if you put up weight limits every single place, that's not gonna just stop us. We have to find a way. There has to be a route somewhere. And unfortunately, no matter what, we're gonna find it because we have to get to a destination to go and deliver. <sighs> maybe, maybe like town planners should be made to um, come in a truck and actually experience it. Maybe we should make it so that they're legally not allowed to. Oh, hello, what do I do here?
what on earth? This is the route that they expect you to go. They know there's industrial places down here and they've gone, right, yep, we know there's something down here. Let's make all of the traffic, all of the big trucks come this way. <laughs> because of course they have. <laughs> See, this says this is a five ton zone as well. So what route was I supposed to take? Oh, we're turning left here. <laughs> ah, what on earth? This is mind blowing. It is absolutely and utterly mind blowing. Right, we're looking for a plastic place. That looks very plasticky, is it? There's no signage. I'm gonna have to try and find somewhere to turn around. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to put hazards on and uh, I don't think I can go in there, can I? Let's call the customer, let's get it sorted. Oh my God. That was next level. Um, yeah. <laughs> I, just, I just don't even know where to begin with it. Um, it is now four o'clock. I arrived here, um, well, I arrived maybe like quarter past 12. So I've been here for four hours. And um, it has been an ordeal. Please open for me. You knew you better had to. fuel as well. Wow, that's dropped quick, hasn't it? Um, so yeah, I need to go and get some fuel and I need to get back home. It's a four hour trip. Uh, so I won't be back. Well, I won't be back to, to be, I won't be back in, um, yeah, it's a four hour trip. I won't be back into Skelmersdale until nearly eight o'clock. No, with fuel, it'll be after eight o'clock. And then I've got to get back home. Um, yeah, it's going to be a long and very late night. And thank you very much, you lovely, lovely person. Let's talk about what went wrong. Um, that load took four forklifts to complete. The first one apparently blew up before it even got to the truck. The second one ran out of electricity and couldn't even lift the bolt bags. The third one that we got out we discovered wouldn't reach high enough to put it on the bed of the truck. And then finally, number four came out, driven by another chap who was able to sort everything out immediately. And yeah, uh, there was much happiness in the world. Still, it has put me way behind schedule, uh, which is not great. And, ah, uh, yeah. Oh, f me. Why do I have such a bad look? Also, I need to go to the tweet as well, because I am 
absolutely starving. Um, Cause I was only out for two days. I've only bought like, I've only brought limited food out with me. I've not brought any microwave meals. I've not brought really any meals. Um, anything I have had, I've already eaten it because I'm fat. Fat Freddie Flintoff, as someone said in the comments. What a d <laughs> Ah, f me. The, the annoying thing is, I couldn't even get a good time lapse out of it because it took so long and things kept breaking down. It's just not even worth viewing, I don't think. You can tell when a time lapse is going to be good. That one won't be, I know for a fact. Still, as for the video, as for this week, apologies, it's been a short video, but um, I've only worked two days and. Yeah, that's my excuse. Suck it. <laughs> yeah, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, the, the usual jazz. Um, I won't lay into it because I figure by this point, if you got to this point in the video, you've probably done all of that anyways. If you haven't, why not? But that's it. Thank you so much for watching and we shall see you next time.